In this 3D image, we are able to see the interaction between a T cell, colored blue, and an antigen-presenting cell, in this case a B cell, colored red. When T cells are able to recognize their antigen on another cell, the zone of contact between the two cells, here colored green, forms an organized structure called the immunological synapse. In this second image, which shows a cytotoxic T cell recognizing its target, we can again see the synapse between the two cells. The cells are labeled with fluorescent molecules that show an adhesion molecule, the integrin alpha chain CD11A, in green, and a signaling molecule, LCK, in red. The cytotoxic granules in the CTL are labeled blue. If we look closely at the synapse, we can see its structure. The outer ring contains the adhesion molecule, and the inner ring is divided into two parts, one containing the signaling molecules, and the other, dark in this image, is the secretory zone. In this side view, we can see that some of the cytotoxic granules, stained in blue, have moved close to the interface and are starting to fuse with the synapse. Other granules remain at the opposite end of the cell, perhaps where another synapse is starting to form. Multiple synapses can be formed with the same antigen-presenting cell, as we see here, where two CTLs are trying to kill the same target. Each has formed a synapse organized into discrete signaling and secretory zones. The signaling zones are indicated by the presence of the red-stained signaling molecule, LCK, while green-labeled cytotoxic granules can be seen clustered just behind the synapse itself.